You're right there, Mike. We're going to see something special today. Are you excited? I thought you would be. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the video where we watch Prehistoric Kingdoms exclusive, apparently, uh, trailer. So before we get into it, I do want to say a little history about Prehistoric Kingdom that I have. Well, not really, but uh, I didn't know about them for a long time. So cast your mind back again to 2015. There was the eve of Jurassic World. Uh, we hadn't had a major dinosaur game or any sort of Jurassic franchise game in a long time. And with the announcement of Jurassic World coming in June 20. 2015 and everybody's so desperate for another dinosaur game there were definitely two that promised us a similar kind of gameplay to jpog that being the uh, <laughs> infamous mesozoic and prehistoric kingdom now i got the feeling back then that both of them were kind of wanting to get out for the summer of 2015 that being the summer that jurassic world was releasing and why would they not be it was the hype and as we would see in 2015 dinosaur channels uh media everything on the internet just skyrocketed as the rest of the world remembered that wait a minute dinosaurs are pretty cool unfortunately for both of those titles that came and went uh but neither of them released any kind of like playable game they may have released like little demos or alphas and stuff like that but for the majority of people that were waiting for the game and were anticipating and were you know keeping up to date with them they really didn't have anything the only thing that kind of came out was a tech demo from mesozoica and it wouldn't be really until 2017 that either of them would release some kind of playable demo they missed the 2015 mark by, by just a little bit we'll say in 2018 mesozoica released and everybody instantly regretted what they had backed and we never really heard anything from Mesozoica again. Probably for the best, let's let's be honest here. And from there, a couple of games did come out. We had Claw Hunter that promised a kind of Stomping Land-esque kind of game. Uh, that went straight to Kickstarter, I think it was, uh, asking for just, you know, a tiny uh, $600,000 or euros, whatever it was. And eventually, in 2018, we got... Jurassic World Evolution. I mean, it kind of reshaped everything. It was the game that we wanted or what we thought we wanted, definitely. It was along the right track. Maybe it didn't give us everything we needed in terms of customability that another Frontier game, Planet Zoo, did promise and deliver on. Uh, Jurassic World Evolution seemed to almost be the prototype that Planet Zoo was built on. Which is a bit of a shame because you took the other way around and you had the amount of creativity that you had you know, it could have been a lot different. To be fair, Jurassic World Evolution would have been made better by the dinosaurs' interactions with each other. That's something that they kind of don't do a great deal of in Planet Zoo. If you look, most of Planet Zoo content is just the amazing exhibits that people can, you know, place. Uh, hence the reason why I didn't play it too much, because once you place the animals in there, it was just a case of like, oh, they've had a baby, or oh, they've died, or oh, they've escaped because you didn't build a brick wall high enough, James. Why did you build a brick wall high enough? Now on to 2020, the year that has um, definitely been infamous in a variety of ways. But Prehistoric Kingdom behind the scenes has been chugging away. I haven't been covering it. I know that they've been putting out updates of all the different things, the new creatures and stuff they've been putting out. But as far as I went, as far as I knew, Prehistoric Kingdom was in the same category that Mesozoica was. It was a it was a park builder, like Mesozoica, Architect Park, all these dinosaur games that was promised so much and then just went, disappeared. However, I might have been wrong on that front. So, how about we take a look? at the new trailer that came out. <gasps> Ooh, this is exciting. Let's play. I've never seen this before. Ooh. It looks like what Planet Zoo. If time could be rewritten. Nigel! <laughs> Nigel! What if we could bring back the wondrous creatures extinction left behind? I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They actually what got if Nigel Marvin. Your own prehistoric kingdom. <laughs> I love it. Look, this is Planet Zoo. In fact, through the power of genetic technology, 
biological marvels from a bygone era roam the earth once more, providing an opportunity to protect, preserve, and nurture the ancient past. Doesn't it look like Planet Zoo, but with dinosaurs? <laughs> oh my it's God. It's not just the animals that are looked after. State-of-the-art facilities keep the guests entertained and satisfied throughout their visit to the park. I don't like the, the, the people phasing through each other. Ooh. This place is a sanctuary for our planet's rich history. They look, the models are great. Of all shapes and sizes. Wow. Flawless. Absolutely flawless. And of course, you can also find some of the cute ones. It reminds me of mine back home. What, you've got dinosaurs, Nigel? <laughs> Little micro raptors, feather dinosaurs. Oh, there's Taco, Dilacheris. It's crucial to oh. give these beautiful creatures the respect and care they need. Oh, I think I recognize that Stego. Is that Meso Stego? <laughs> Looks similar. Oh, Synsatosaurus. Camarasaurus and Brachiosaurus. All what shapes and sizes. Might be the ones facing extinction. That looked like Jurassic World Evolution. Like, that's just Jurassic World Evolution. <laughs> Is that it? Oh my god. Quarter two of 2021. Closed alpha coming soon. Wow. Whoa, there's a few different developers there. What was that? Hold on. We've got we've got Cryptivo and Blue Blue Meridian. Ah, I feel like I recognize Blue Meridian. Wow. Okay, okay, we'll we'll turn off the volume. Just because. Oh man, but wow. Okay. The the dinosaur models, they look so good. The animations look really good too. The environment looks awesome. This, this shot right here, it's it's very similar. Like there's a lot, I'm gonna make a lot of like uh, references here, but do you remember that shot in Jurassic World Evolution that showed like, it was like the pan up shot where the T-Rex broke out and all that jazz. That That is this shot. That This is the establishing shot to show you what kind of thing you can make in this game. This, this is just, wait, that, that's just, Planet Zoo, like that. Look, it, it's interesting because I remember back when Mesozoic and Prehistoric Kingdom were like fighting for each other. It was like there was a lot of drama going on back then. Um, I remember uh, Max, who was the lead creator of Mesozoic, messaging me, and he was like posting like pictures of of this game and. It was very similar to this. It was very like, you know, wooden, modern kind of looking like it would be in a zoo. Uh, I remember him just saying to me, do you think this is what people want? They want this kind of style? And I, in a way, I can see what he meant by that. Because it, it is, it's, I mean, I don't know whether it was just me. I'm so used to seeing, especially the, like I made something like that for my Pygmy Hippos exhibit. I made something like that. And it was in Planet Zoo. And when you think of dinosaurs, you think because of pop culture, you think of electric fences and or like night and storms. But this is so bright and colorful. So maybe it's refreshing. Maybe seeing something like this, you know, you have that option to make uh, an exhibit that looks like that. Biological marvels. And uh, the look at this, you've got um, you got like a, a covered bit, you've got lily pads, you've got rocks, which it looks like if we take a close look. Uh, here we go. So we've got dinosaurs that aren't ste Like, this is the thing, right? Because Planet Zoo is amazing for the, the uh, way that uh, animals can interact with the environment and uh, rocks and stuff. They can climb up, they can climb down. You can basically put anything anywhere you want or any which way. And as long as an animal can kind of climb on it, they'll find a way, even though they sometimes clip through trees and all that jazz. And I, that must take a very technical code to, you know, be able to manifest in some sort of way. And here we... I was wondering if we would see the Styracosaurus a bit higgledy-piggledy on the rocks, but I don't think so. We're, <laughs> we're seeing very like, this is the eating animation, this is the running animation, this is the walk animation. You're not seeing it like, go into an eating animation, or stop walking and turn. It's very like, this is the animation playing. So, this is in-engine though. It would be interesting to see a little bit of change. And the amount of different things that you can place down. And the fact we have Cenozoic creatures like mammoths and Elasmotherium. 
And uh, Smilodons. Ah, oh, yeah, that Smilodon. That looks so good. Look at that. That looks amazing. And then little, probably, th this will be some sort of enclosure that you, maybe you could put different things. I mean, it's going to be a set thing, I'm assuming. A bit like Planet Zoo has, where you've just got those exhibits where you can switch, switch, switch in and switch out. And then this will be like the Avery and Jurassic World Evolution, where I'm assuming in this in this case, a Microraptor would be flying around doing its own kind of thing. And can, can I just say, uh, out of curiosity, uh, is that, what do you think the chances are that Nigel Marvin <laughs> just thought that this was like prehistoric park? Oh yeah, Nigel Marvin, you remember that, that show you recorded ages ago, prehistoric park? Oh yeah, we're making a game on prehistoric park. Do you think he got confused? He thought it was called prehistoric kingdom. <laughs> Oh, that would be so funny if that was the case. Wow. I mean, look at all the different types of vegetation. Um, these kind of designs, um, uh, like this this kind of design, the stripes on the uh, Sinsatosaurus, I think it is, or Elumbia, or whatever it's called, and this kind of stripe, it's very, it reminds me of jagged fang designs from uh, the, the modern community on Jurassic World Evolution. You know, it's very natural kind of look. It's not too scaly, it's more realistic. Or, you know, it, 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 it's taken inspiration from real life, like zebras and giraffes of the great savanna of Africa. Uh, and look at that, look at that shot, that power. That power looks like it's straight out of the mod for Jurassic World Evolution. Like, that looks beautiful. I love the, uh, the, the types of patterns that they've decided to choose for this game and the, the, the types of environments as well. Because here we see, I don't know what this is. Um, and I don't really like the design of it, <laughs> but that could be a custom building that somebody's made. So if there is a kind of building mechanic, which I, I assume there is, and I, I'm sure two seconds uh, Googling it will show me that, you know, up and down, because Mesozoic even had like, you know, you could put things inside each other and all that jazz that Jurassic World Evolution come. As far as Jurassic World Evolution goes, you could not have anything near this level of quality look at the amount of rocks in the background i wouldn't be surprised if these are in the all individual rocks that have been placed and built up as well as the trees you know Jurassic world evolution you can put some dirt down you can maybe put some rocks you can put a tree but if it's anything like the level of uh design that you can do in you know uh, uh planet zoo it's gonna be amazing it really is. And the, the different times of day. Look at that. And th this shot here, that it, that's like kind of a classic. Or what I would come... If somebody made like a, a dinosaur game, uh, or it was Park Builder, or kind of like any dinosaur game. Like something like this. This shot right here. With the electric fence, the rad... The, the rad? The rad! The rad light! The red light sort of uh, flare glowing on and off. Um, and then we show, I think, is this the breakout scene where, yeah, the breakout scene. <laughs> I mean, fair enough, fair enough. Jurassic World Evolution weren't the first ones to do it. And as Prehistoric Kingdom shows, they're also not going to be the last one to do a cliche T-Rex roar uh, breaking out of an enclosure. But again, th this T-Rex doesn't look like a Jurassic Park T-Rex. Uh, yes, it's not feathered, um, but it's not a soaring. But it's, it's I, is it the same kind of T-Rex that when I played in 2017? Because if it is, I we didn't like that model too much. <laughs> Have we got another shot of the T-Rex in the day? I think we do see some sort of uh, Tyrannosaur uh, relative. I think this this one here. It could be, I mean, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what it could be. But it, it looks like it could be like a, a Her Herarosaurus, a, a Tarbosaur, maybe... Something like that, with that kind of shape. I'm no paleontologist, but it's kind of... The, the size is absolutely massive as well. Uh, one thing, yeah, I don't like these. I really... There's a, there's a thing in film filmmaking or animation where it's like, if something doesn't look good, just make sure it's it's out of shot or it's far away. But we're giving, we're giving limelight to these lifeless <laughs> human beings. Uh, and the thing is, with Jurassic World Evolution, they were lifeless, but... They had animation. And maybe these guys do have other animations where they point and they do different things. But the fact that they're all going the same pace, they're all slow. Um, yeah, no. I mean, of course, this isn't done by any stretch of the imagination. And, and maybe they will add stuff to it. But I miss the days. I miss the days of uh, J-Pog. 
when you had individual guests and you could see exactly where they were from, how much money they had, what dinosaurs they had seen, and you could follow along with that person if you wanted to. You know, it wouldn't make for a good let's play, but when I was a kid, I would I would follow Sven or whatever, and I would see, oh, has he seen the T-Rex? Or, oh, he's walking that way, he might, he might you know, pay for that thing, or... I don't know, and uh, it's something that Jurassic World Evolution just completely forgot about. It's like, ah, sorry, we don't need to do the guess much focus on dinosaurs. And that could have been a time constraint kind of thing. And Planet Zoo kind of did the same thing. At least they made, you know, the guests a little bit more alive, whether that was um, where they go or how they react to things. Um, but this, I mean, and, and comparing, you know, Planet Zoo and Frontier, this massive AAA indie developer, if you want to call them, to what is an indie developed project. Um, the, the kind of humor that comes from, from me that like, they actually got Nigel Marvin. That is amazing. But what's funny is I remember Mesozoica messaging Sam Neill to try and get the him to do the voiceover or something. For, uh, for, for Mesozoic. Can you imagine? Could you imagine if Alan Grant voiced something Mesozoica? What a waste that would have been. <laughs> I'm so glad that um, I'm hoping like that this looks like it, it's gonna, if it, if it released like this, it looked like it, or it looks like it's gonna be really good. These beautiful creatures, the respect and care they need. Go away bar at the bottom. we might be the ones facing extinction. Yeah. You see, you see it says in-engine in alpha footage, right? But all these animations, and I, like, I haven't seen it, but just as a little critique is that they haven't, or they deliberately haven't shown any in-between animations, you know, going from walking to an eating animation or, or something like that, or a turn. Most of these dinosaurs are just performing preset animation. So like, this will be the, the walk while eating animation. This will be the head turn look at that way animation. This is the sitting animation, walking animation. Uh, and that, that's, like, we see that, that rhino, it, they, they deliberately cut that shot from the shake to the run. You never saw him go shake and run off. I mean, it's obviously, like, a cinematic kind of thing, and maybe that's the shot that they wanted, and they, it did, maybe it didn't look good, or maybe, I love this watermelon, this watermelon, this rhino's got watermelons <laughs> as food? Oh, okay. I mean, that's interesting. I wonder if you have to do any research as to what you um you feed your dinosaurs that'll be interesting because uh oh i don't know this just this so like this looks amazing wow look at this even little things that, can you step in or is that glass that looks like a little doorway <laughs> you could just go hello <laughs> walk right on in but it looks so good it really does and for something that is coming in 2021 next year and at the end, like quarter two, I think, so uh, midway, so probably June, July. And that's interesting. That's interesting that it is coming in 2021 because as we all know, that was the time that Jurassic World Dominion, the final Jurassic World movie was supposed to be coming out. However, that has moved to 2022, an extra year later when the final Jurassic World film is getting uh, released. So I wonder if that, release date is going to be affected because the uh, like and like i said years ago five years ago when it was mesozoica and prehistoric kingdom i think or at least i know mesozoica they were hoping to get out for that year 2015 because they knew the hype for dinosaurs was going to be with a new release of the movie kind of riding on that huge wave that would have been universal's advertising push which would have put dinosaurs high in the search ratings and this game would have came out and bang there you go free advertising basically and that's how it's been every three years with 2015 with Jurassic world with 2018 with fallen kingdom but what would have been 2021 
with Dominion. So I wonder if it's going to be pushed back. I wouldn't be surprised if that's the case. And what a shame. Only a couple of days after this gets released, when they say, oh, it's coming then, or at least Clove, Clove's Alpha is coming soon, but that, it says, is going to be available in 2021. What a shame that Universal say, yeah, uh, it's going to be an extra year. <laughs> I would not be surprised if the team's like, Oh no, we promised a date now. Uh, <laughs> Cause it, I mean, I love it. it. The polish, the level of polish on this is great. What more can I say really? The fact that they got Nigel Marvin to, to voice just like a little bit of a cameo kind of in it. That's, it, 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 they know their audience. And I, I am genuinely curious whether he knew <laughs> about it being prehistoric kingdom and not prehistoric park. I, I think it would just be kind of funny if he didn't. <laughs> and he just kind of agreed to it thinking, oh yeah, oh, I, I really did something like that. But Nigel Marvin's very, you know, I think he'd, he'd be very open to something like this. Um, and I've loved every series he's been in, you know, the walking with dinosaurs specials and stuff and just hearing, it's like with Jurassic World Evolution, it's like hearing Jeff Goldblum. But, you know, Nigel Marvin was just this, um, you know, he was in a few different series for the BBC, but I doubt the BBC is going to make a game like this, are they? So the fact that something that looks like, you know, a company like that would create. Um, uh, I see. I want to see if that uh, that mammoth just walked through the rock. <laughs> Got a little bit of floating there on on this marathon. But again, this is just all early alpha, and really, it just shows what the lighting's going to look like, what the textures of the dinosaurs are going to look like, the reading and the walking animations, um, and the general feel that we're going to get from how we're going to be able to make our enclosures. I just hope that what they focus on a little bit is the animations and the interactions that the dinosaurs have between themselves. Because that's something that Jurassic World Evolution was sorely missing. Um, and what would have made, what would have, would have brought that back to life. It's all fair and good having all these dinosaur species, but if, you know, they don't interact and they don't, you know, the only thing the Jurassic World Evolution that dinosaurs really did was they had a, a kill animation and they ate or they killed uh, people. They had a specific uh, people kill animation. And I, I look at that. It looks gorgeous. There's nothing else to be saying. I'm going to ramble on. Keep on rambling if I keep on this video going. And I don't think anybody really wants to put up with that, do you? I don't think so. Anyway, that is the Prehistoric Kingdom trailer. I'm definitely now going to be keeping more uh, of an eye on it. Uh, like I said, I thought it was just something that was in 2015 and it was getting little updates, but progress might not have been something to really pay attention to. I apologize, Prehistoric Kingdom team. You've worked really hard on this and I'm so sorry I have not covered this uh, before now. And this just looks fabulous. It looks amazing. You've done a great job and I cannot wait already to, you know, what you've done is amazing. But what you are going to create in the future uh, going forward, a Planet Zoo, Jurassic World Evolution, and a baby. And here it is. It is a Prehistoric Kingdom. Um, again, like, like I said, the, the walking animation, everyone looks like they've all crapped their pants and they're just trying to make sure that it doesn't fall out. <laughs> they're all just move very slowly. But like I said, it looks like a bit like, you know, Dress World Evolution did. They focused on the animals, they focused on the dinosaurs. And um, hopefully that's just something that will be fixed because... Uh, that's not so great. And I, uh, like I said, this has got a whole nother year with a possibility of another year being extended because I would not be surprised if they all of a sudden went, yeah, uh, it's 2022 now. Don't know why, <laughs> but we, we need to more time to work on it. Yeah, <laughs> but no, as, as far as marketing goes, I would understand if they push it to 2022. And if it means that they can make the humans look more realistic or walk better or you know that, that kind of thing um i'm all up for it but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video hype your site for it, leave me let me know down in the comments below and until next time i'll see you later oh bye bye